Hi everyone, so today I have a pretty big homeware haul for you. So if you like homeware, then this is the video for you. <laughs> All of these things are from a selection of places. There's some things from Ikea, Zara Home, Asda Home and Tiger. So I'm going to get on and show you guys what I've been adding into my room. I don't have any of the things in my hands to show you, um, but I did film little clips of where they are in my room and sort of how I style them or what I put in them. So hopefully that'll be more interesting than just holding it up and showing you. <laughs> so, bye. so the first place I'm going to start with is Ikea. And the first thing I picked up are two cushions. They're both quite similar in their pattern and colours, but one's more darker and the other's a bit more lighter grey. <laughs> um, but they're basically geometric patterned pillows and they just go so well with my big fluffy pillow in the middle. I think they really complement each other. You can see them behind me right now. Um, and yeah, those were I think £12 each. So I will try and remember the price of some things, but if I don't then I'll just find the links to everything and put them in the description bar below. <laughs> I've been wanting to get a lot more greenery into my room because I just love having plants in my room but being at uni I can't water them all the time so I bought this really really cool fake bamboo style tree <laughs> and I just think it's so cool and it just makes my room look so much brighter and greener and it was only £35 which I thought was a really good price for a big fake tree. In some of these clips you may have noticed that I've got rid of my wardrobe and that is now somewhere else in the house <laughs> and I've replaced it with a rail and then this four box standing thing. So the first thing is the rail. I had a rail already um, but I bought a new one because that one was starting to bend <laughs> in the middle. So I went for the upgrade which was only a few pounds more and it's a bit more sturdy. Um, I was having trouble with it because it was slanting to one side but we've like unscrewed it and retightened it and it seems to be okay. But yeah, I bought a new rail and I filtered out a load of clothing that I didn't need and that's gone on to Depop. So if you want to check out my Depop, I will put a thing on the screen now so you can go and click on that and follow it if you want. Um, and yeah, anyway, next to that I have a four box standing thing. I can't remember the Ikea name for it now. But anyway, in the bottom one I'm putting bags that I don't really need to be on show because that bit's not shown anyway because my bed kind of covers it. Then I bought two of the like bamboo style boxes because I thought it went well with the sort of green greenery theme I was having. <laughs> and then the things on top are more decorative pieces that I'll get onto in a minute. The next place I went to was Tiger and I've just fallen in love with a crockery sort of set that they have at the moment which is like pink and white and speckledy and just everything I love. So I bought the jug which was literally £3 or something and in Ikea the jugs were really expensive, they were like £20 so I thought I got a very good bargain going to Tiger and finding a £3 jug. <laughs> so that's just sitting on my desk at the moment with some tulips in and then I also bought the plate because initially I thought it would look really good with a cake on it for taking pictures but for now it's just sat on top of my makeup collection with some jewellery and a little old camera on it so that's where it's living for now. <laughs> Next up I found this really cute wire hello sign in like a really nice pastel blue and I didn't really know where I wanted to put it in my room um, so I just put it on this little wire holder for now but I think when I have my own house I'm gonna have it in the kitchen or like in the hallway or something so I just thought it's one of those things that you're not going to see very often, so I'm going to get it now. And it was £2, so, you know. Continuing with the greenery theme, they had a hanging plant pot, which was just perfect and I just needed it. <laughs> um, so at the moment it's hanging above my chest of drawers, and it's just got a little thing of ivy coming out of it. And I just think it looks really cute. And I love the fact that it's hanging from my ceiling. <laughs> I just find it really cool. And I think that was about three or four pounds. So again, really affordable. Tiger is just the best place for finding little bits to go in your room. Then finally from Tiger, I bought this little um, wicker, I think it's wicker <laughs> style, um, little holding tray, which I put my sunglasses on. And I just think it looks good with the greenery and the sort of bamboo vibe going on in my room right now so yeah that was again two pounds <laughs> once I get a vision in my head for what I want my room to look like 
I literally can't do anything except from redecorate my room or re-move bits in my room and I really wanted some like rustic wooden mirrors and the only place that really had the right ones that weren't like £300 was Zara Home. So I bought some mirrors online from Zara Home which I was very worried about the delivery for. <laughs> I was like no oh, they're just gonna turn up and be all smash but they weren't they were completely fine and one is behind me you can see now and it's this beautiful round rustic mirror with chain detailing to hang it up with and I just think it looks perfect in such a central place for my room so I'm very very happy with that and then the next one goes just above my desk um, and I used to have like a white really like decorative one around it and I just I didn't like it I like the mirror itself it was really nice and clear but um, that sort of decorativeness just isn't what I want anymore in my room. It's like simple, geometric. As to home is another one of my favourite places to go to find homeware pieces and I don't actually have one near me but there's one near my boyfriend so <laughs> I dragged him in there and I found a few good pieces. The first one is this really cool cactus vase um, which my mum thinks looks really rude but I just think it looks like a cactus and that she's got a very dirty mind. <laughs> I'm not using it as a vase at the moment, I think it just looks nice in that little square um, on its own and sometimes I put the tiger jug next to it with some fake flowers in and it looks really pretty. And also from Asda Home I found this fake green leaf plant thing. <laughs> um, the leaves don't really bend as much as I want to because normally with fake plants you can bend them into shape a bit more but this one doesn't bend too much so it's quite upright but hopefully I'll be able to bend it or something eventually. <laughs> at uni I have a little copper vanity mirror and when I'm at home I don't have one so I found another copper one in Asda Home which I was very excited about but it was quite expensive for what it was because I think I bought a cheap, my initial one was from Matalan and it was much cheaper um, but this one was still quite cheap but just a little bit more than I expected to pay for it. Then the final thing from As The Home is this really simple clock radio, which I think actually looks kind of cool and just a bit vintage because it's so rubbish looking. <laughs> but it's just so useful, it has a nice time, it dims the light if you need it to, and it's really cheap. And it's got a clock radio alarm, which is my favourite, so yeah. <laughs> and then the final thing for this haul is another hanging plant pot. And this one was from a little shop in Woodstock. I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, I think it's called something like Organic Home or something. But it's basically this duo hanging basket which I put some more ivy in and it just hangs above my laptop. So yeah, I love it. I'm just obsessed with these hanging things. <laughs> if you are buying these, make sure you get help with putting them up because you have to use proper hefty hooks otherwise you don't want them falling down. <laughs> so that is everything in my homeware haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I hope it's given you some little homeware inspiration. Let me know in the comments below where is your favourite place to shop for homeware items. I think mine is probably Tiger. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!